One of the questions I get quite frequently is, what happens if I die and I don't have a will? My name is Bill Miller and I'm an estate and elder law attorney in Alabama and I have offices in Anniston and Birmingham. And dying without a will can be very problematic for your family because without a will they don't know, they don't know your wishes about who's to get what when you pass away. Um, if you die without a will and you have assets that are just in your name when you die, then your family is going to have to go through what is called an estate administration in the probate court. So what that means is they've got to file for some authority to act on behalf of your estate because you are in effect a legal entity and when you die, that legal entity dies but it owned assets. And we've got to get those assets from that legal entity to your heirs, whether that's your spouse or your children or grandchildren. But the only way to do that is to get it from you, from you to your estate and then to them. That's the probate process. The problem is without a will, then the process is a whole lot more difficult, time consuming and expensive. For example, um, every time you want to try to do something if, if in probate court, if you don't have a will, you've got to have a hearing because the court has to um, approve everything. And so every time you want to try to sell property and things like that, there has to be a hearing. Um, you also have to, your, your administrator of your estate has to post a bond, they have to post an inventory with the court, they have to post an accounting, and everything is just more difficult along the way. Uh, and then ultimately what can happen is the people you w would want to get your assets may not get them. For example, I had a client who, whose mother passed away, she had no will, she had a house that was worth about $180,000. Um, and she had three living children when she died. and, and the law said they would all get an equal share. Well, it took us about 18 months to get the house sold because every time we would get a buyer, their loan lock would expire before I could get a hearing set in probate court because the probate court is you know, very busy. So finally, after about 18 months, we were able to get a, um, a hearing. Actually, we had a cash buyer, so we were able to close out the estate. But in the meantime, the middle child had passed away and he had two daughters that lived in another town and they were estranged from the family but because the rules of intestacy or the rules in Alabama that say who gets what if you don't have a will, they say that if one child dies, then their children get their share. So in the end, the oldest son got a third, the young daughter got a third, and the child who died, his two daughters, got one sixth. That's not what the family wanted, but that's what happens if you die without a will. So I would encourage you to have a will in place. It makes it a whole lot easier on your family. Um, if you'd like to know more about it, I encourage you to visit our website. You can register for one of our free uh, estate planning and asset protection workshops, or you can also call us at 256-472-2172 uh, and register for a workshop that way or set up an appointment to come in so we can talk about your estate plan. I look forward to seeing you either way.